The box comes in a nice premium mate black finish and opening this we are greeted with the Shiriki logo right in the middle. Everything is nicely tucked and packed inside. Inside the box the packaging felt really neat and they included a lot of extras with our keyboard. Starting off we have a pretty beefy manual that's written in both Chinese and English. Yay. The manual is well detailed and has all the possible key combinations and functions listed in it. The usual warranty card, hopefully we don't have to use that. Some stickers, at least I think the smaller one is also a sticker. A replacement limeish green case cover. It feels like the same plastic as the keyboard and keycaps but matches the knobs. But preferably I actually don't like green so I'll just keep that aside. The keyboard dust cover, nice, and a type, a, a type A to type C cord. Let me just unravel that. It's decently long and feels really nice for a rubber cord. And a keycap puller with the Shiriki logo on both ends. Pretty cool. Although the iron feels kind of flimsy, but again, this is my first mechanical keyboard. And we have one, two, three, uh, 12 extra keycaps. I had already gone and gone ahead and replaced the arrow keys and the spacebar. And the beast itself, the Hanzo 002. The material looks really nice and has this grainy yet smooth finish. The keycaps have an OEM profile and are ABS double shots. The keyboard weighs a lot for its size and at the top an adjustable metal stand and the type C port on the right. Rubber feet with a branded metal back plate and the keyboard is fully plastic aside from the adjustable stand and the back plate and unfortunately it's not hot swappable. Extra key legends such as the F row and multimedia keys are printed on the side of the keycaps so you don't lose that much functionality with the 65% layout. The ABS keycaps are removable and replaceable and beneath that we have the Vermilio version 2 Sakura linear switches that I think are pre-looped. Although the key switches are not hot swappable, they do say they have a longer lifespan than regular mechanical switches. It's a whitish backlit keyboard and has different backlight modes such as waves which is currently active. The backlight animation speed can be sped up or slowed down to fit your liking. I tried but I can't notice any backlight flickering and the keycaps are unfortunately not shine through which would have been honestly great especially in dark locations. And we can use the FN key and the arrow keys to cycle through and control the animation speed of the different lighting modes and to be honest it was a ton of fun trying out each and every one The backlight can get surprisingly bright and also really dim too. This is controlled with the left knob and can be completely turned off. 
and lastly we have a sound test so that you can get an idea of what typing on the hands sounds like.